Our experience has been uh, interesting in two different sides. First one is uh, to learn a new culture, discover a new culture that sometimes is so, so far and so different from us that we really don't know what's going there. And there are lots of things going there in China, but we don't know. And we have discovered how they think, how they work, how they are innovating. And that links to the second point of view, which is a technological uh, point of view, meaning that uh, Huawei, as all Chinese companies, are growing, are uh, developing new products, and they are no, no, any, they are not anymore the company that uh, built specific parts from uh, cheap devices. But they are innovating, they are creating new products, and I think it's good to be aware of that. We, as Europeans, we know that uh, companies from America and from China are growing, but we need to be the bridge between Europe and between China. And I think that's a good uh, opportunity to have that knowledge so we can help our continent, Europe. And I think that we have lots of things to do in the future. First launched in 2011 in the UK and subsequently implemented in France and Luxembourg. The scheme has now been rolled out in four additional countries, Spain, Italy, Germany and Norway. And we are extending it to more countries to this list in the, in the years coming. The scheme is part of our global commitment to in investing in the younger generation and bringing different parts of the world closer together. It is organized under the umbrella of our global Telecom Seeds for the Future program. It was very good to hear today from all the young people who have been over to China with Huawei uh, to look at how work, is ta work takes place in factories and in the, uh, in, in the, in the research unit in, in, in China. I think it's very, very good for Europe, it's very good for China, it, in, it improves relations between the two, but it's particularly good for young people to do work experience, and particularly at this high level. Uh, what we're seeing here in Europe with, this, with our terrible situation of youth, youth employment has got to be addressed. It's got to be addressed by improving employability, and the deeper understanding that uh, young people can get from the world, uh, get of the world from, from visits like this and programmes like this, I think will be invaluable to them. Uh, It'll be invaluable to them in improving their confidence uh, and getting them to a, a more employable state and, and, and helping them succeed in, in launching their careers in the near future. It's very important to see how a company works because we are students and often we don't know what, um, what is the world job in reality. We only know books and studies and exams and everything else, but we don't know what we were going to do. And so this was a great, um, really a great opportunity. I would like to congratulate Huawei for this great initiative. I think this is an opportunity for European youngs and Spanish youngs to participate in this uh, program because they are going to learn about China, they are going to learn about innovation, and I think these two key words, innovation and China, is, means future. And I think uh, it's going to be a great opportunity for these European and Spanish youngs to be sure they are going to succeed. So I would like to encourage them to somehow uh, take advantage of this opportunity and uh, be prepared for the future because we believe that they will be key to link China, Europe, Spain and innovation. What well, we really do need to invest in young people in Europe, there's increasing youth unemployment which the European Parliament has recognised and we're taking some measures to deal with the situation but it's great to see Huawei doing what they are doing because it's estimated that by 2015 there will be over 900,000 vacancies in ICT and high-tech subjects so we need the skills, our young people need the skills to fill those jobs so this is an excellent initiative which I'm sure will go a long way to helping with that.